Boogeyman! Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by, continuing my video showcasing retro laser discs. I was actually, before I started this video, I'm like, it isn't just saying laser disc by itself kind of retro. I mean, it's not like they really make laser discs anymore, so it's kind of the whole idea of retro laser discs I thought was kind of funny because laser discs themselves are uh, kind of a retro format in general, but uh, that's that's another topic. Um, I'm coming at you today with one of these retro laser disc showcasings. To showcase one that I didn't even remember that I had, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's a laser video disc for the motion picture from 1980 or 1981. Uli Lamel's masterpiece by the name of Boogeyman. And this is the um, basically Magnum Entertainment. Uh, home video release that is distributed exclusively by Image Entertainment on Laserdisc and we've got a no copyright 1990 Magnum Entertainment Incorporated all, right, all Rights Reserve on the bottom of this Laserdisc sleeve. So basically it's saying the movie is copyright 1980 and then 10 years later Magnum Entertainment distributed by Image Entertainment would put out Boogeyman on Laserdisc. One thing I don't like about, I guess the thing I like least about this Laserdisc is, uh, I guess it's probably Magnum Entertainment's own font for the title, which is basically looks like it's made out of a bunch of bones, and then you've got blood dripping off the bones. I, I don't, I don't like the, uh, you know, the font or whatever they use for the title. Other than that, I think this Laserdisc artwork's kind of fun. And if you look on the case here, on the corner, top corner, you've got Laserdisc, and not only that, but digital sound. So who, you know, whoever thought in 1990 you'd be able to experience Boogeyman with digital sound, digital mono sound, but here's proof of it right here. You can see Boogeyman on Laserdisc with digital mono sound. Here's the back of the Laserdisc. We've got three very, very interesting images. One of, uh, I can't remember the name of that mute guy looking at the broken mirror and then father whatever the farmer doofy face well that whatever father bloody face standing there I love how that the gore the goriest one of the goriest shots in the movie is this priest guy and they're just dumping blood down his on the top of his head and it's just kind of dripping down the, across the front of his face but I might actually have to probably maybe do a little edit on this third one it's a picture of that hot chick who's you know, possessed, the scissors, scissors are possessed by Boogeyman, and you know, the, she's basically getting, cutting herself in the throat with the scissors, but you can kind of see a nipple in that shot, so I might have to do a little editing just to make sure we're safe on that, but this is, this is it, obviously I'll show you a better shot of, of the back here so you can read their little synopsis on the back, but you know, Boogeyman, I didn't even remember that I had this, Boogeyman Laserdisc from 1990. And in my opinion, Image Entertainment was never known for particularly exciting labels on Laserdisc. You've got basically just a kind of a boring white Laserdisc, Image Entertainment, huge logo on the bottom there, then a small Magnum Entertainment there. You've got the word mono, you got digital sound, of course the, um, you know, the, the font that I don't really like for this release on the top there, Boogeyman, you can barely even read it. Um, it's an extended place CLV1 here, Laserdisc. Looks like uh, you got the CX noise reduction, so even though this is digital sound, if you listen to analog sound, you've got your CX noise reduction for the analog soundtracks. Flipping the disc over, obviously, pretty much same label, with the exception of instead of a number one, you've got a number two. Hope you guys enjoyed my little showcasing of Boogeyman Laserdisc by, I don't know what the hell it was, Magnum Entertainment Distributed by Image Entertainment from 1990. Thanks a lot for watching this video and as always we'll catch you on the next one.